Yeah, let's do this. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm here for the original Tiger King book tag because what else do we have to do right now? Am I right? So this is gonna be a book tag that is going to follow the cinematic masterpiece that is Tiger King that is on Netflix right now. If you have not watched Tiger King, go watch it, rectify the situation and bestow upon yourself the beauty that is Tiger King. It's what everybody's watching right now. It's what everybody's talking about right now. And it's at least taking our minds off of the craziness that is the world right now. So alas, here I am with the Tiger King book tag. I have put together some questions, I guess is a very loose term for what I have here. Uh, just some, some, questions to put some books with. It's a book tag. You guys know how book tags work. Let's just get to these. All right, we're gonna kick things off with a bang, like Tannerite in the show. The first question that I have for you, or the first thing to associate a book with for you guys, is Joe's eyebrow ring. Name a book that barely held on to your attention, but you persevered and finished anyway. Didn't mean that it finished strong, but it's just still, it was still there. You still persevered. So basically an almost DNF, a probably should have been DNF, but you made it through and it's still hanging on. And for me, I'm starting things off controversial. That is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This is strictly just because I don't really read historical fiction and this one was a struggle for me. I didn't think that it was great. Had I not been reading this with my entire book club, I probably would have DNF'd it, but I held on. I finished strong. No, I didn't. I was just hanging on by a thread by the end there, but I'm glad that I finished it. All right, next is Carol Baskin. Name a plot hole that was never solved, never answered, and you just can't let it go. For me, I'm going with the classic Time Turner from Harry Potter. Everybody has had this discussion over the course of the past 10 years since Harry Potter has been out. Why would one of the greatest wizards on earth give a magical device that could literally save the world to a teenage girl to take extra classes with? I know this is one of the most debated things in the Harry Potter fandom, but it's just something that I just can't let go. Much like Carol Baskin murdering her husband. All right, let's move on. Next is Here Kitty Kitty. Name your favorite villain who got an origin story or deserved an origin story. Meaning they deserve an entire diss track to be written and sung and performed about how awful they are and all of the things that they've done in life. For me, I am going with The Darkling. I know, again, a little controversial. All of my answers are gonna be controversial in this one because we're talking about Tiger King here. But in my mind, The Darkling is one of my favorite villains. I don't like romanticizing him, but he's a solid villain. Like he is just such a complex, really cool character that you like wanna like, you understand him but he does some pretty messed up things. And I feel like over the arc of the entire Grishaverse, there's a lot of things that have come up about him and he just deserves a song written about him. So here, kitty kitty. Alrighty, next, Golden Nuggets. Name a book that was rubbed in your face so, fuck, I can't do this. <laughs> A book that was rubbed in your face so much that you eventually gave into the hype and you ended up reading it. Oh my god. Yeah, I came up with that idea. I'm gonna own that one. Golden Nuggets. <laughs> one of the quintessential scenes from that entire series, am I right? All right. Uh, for this one, I want to go with The Cruel Prince because I'm gonna be honest, this is a book I might have picked it up. I probably wouldn't have picked it up at its peak had it not been so rubbed in my face for so long. All right, I'm gonna drop this analogy. This book was so hyped for so long that I eventually just kind of caved and read it. I still haven't even finished the series because I still don't love it, but for some reason I read it because of the hype and I enjoyed it while I was reading it. So. Cruel Prince, Golden Nuggets, let's move on. Next tag question is, hey all you cool cats and kittens, name your favorite line that is super recognizable to you from one of your favorite series. This can be like a line that would be tattooed on many people at this point in time, or just a line that really stands out to you. And for me, I'm gonna go back to one of my favorite books of all time that is instantly recognizable to me by the line, 
to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. Literally anything from the Akatar series is worth quoting in my mind, but that one, the second you see it, you know exactly where that came from. And it's a pretty wholesome quote. I still like it. I know it's a little cheesy, but I just like it. I just love that series. So what is a line to you guys that just immediately jumps out to you, immediately takes you back to like your favorite book or your favorite scene in a book? Ah, it's just so good. Next, campaign condoms. What is the cringiest book that you have ever read? I had to legitimately sit there and think about it because I feel like there's a lot of just like cringy scenes that are written to be cringy. I'm talking about a book that the whole time you were reading it, you were like, this isn't good. This is real bad. For me, I'm going to go with Grey by E.L. James, as in the spinoff or the like other adaptation at Two Fifty Shades of Grey that is told from Christian's perspective. The whole series we're not going there. But why did we need to have it retold from his perspective? It was even worse. It was so bad. All of it was bad. All of it was cringe. Much like handing out condoms to a campaign to be president. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched this show, watch this show. There are some golden nuggets in it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm moving on. Next, we're gonna go more wholesome. We've got Rinky, Kelsey, and Eric, who are some of Joe's diehard friends, employees, workers who kind of were ride or die for him almost until the end, most to the end. They are just willing to stand up for him. Who are your favorite sidekicks in books? For me, some of my favorite sidekicks in books that are just like ride or die characters are the Howlers from the Red Rising series, specifically Severo. I mean, Severo, Severo belongs in Tiger King, let's be real, but uh, just the Howlers in general, at the very innocent beginning of the Red Rising series, they just, they got your back. I love them. They are definitely my ride or die sidekicks. Next is Alan Glover, who is the best assassin that you have read in a book. Or maybe not the best assassin, should have been a good assassin, but was just really bad and just got sidetracked and didn't even end up in the right state. Who's a good assassin in a book? For me, I feel like I've read a lot of assassin books and I want to say Aelin in this, but I feel like Aelin is so much more than an assassin in my mind at this point. So I'm going to go with Mia just from the Nevernight series because that entire book is revolving around training to be an assassin. And that's, that's the premise of like kind of the whole series. So I'm going to go with Mia. She's a good assassin. And lastly, I'm going to finish this tag out with Joe's exotic internet show. Who were some of your favorite booktubers? tag them to do this, but I also just want to know who you really like watching, who you will always come back to just watch their content online. That's it for this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't take it too seriously. And honestly, if you have not watched Tiger King, it's probably for the best. But if you're really in the need for just a shit show to just binge right through, I highly recommend it. It'll take your mind off of everything for at least a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. If you guys end up doing this, please let me know. I would love to see anybody else who would do these. This was just an enjoyable thing for me to put together tonight. So that is the Tiger King book tag. Hope you guys had fun. I certainly did. And I'll see you guys in my next video.